Example three, find the root of the equation x squared uh, plus x plus one equals zero. Solution, using the quadratic formula, we have x equals negative one plus or minus the square root of one squared minus four times one over two equals negative one plus or minus the square root of negative three over two equals negative one plus or minus the square root of three i over two. We observe that the solutions of the equation in example three are complex conjugates of each other. In general, uh, the solutions of any quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero with real coefficients a, b, and c are always complex con conjugates. If z is real, z bar equals z, so z is its own conjugate. If we have we have seen that if we allow complex numbers to have solutions, then every quadratic equation has a solution. More generally, it is true that every polynomial equation a sub n times x to the power n plus a sub n minus 1 times x to the power n minus 1 plus ellipsis plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 equals 0 of degree at least 1 has a solution among the complex numbers. This fact is known as the fundamental theorem of algebra and was proved by Gauss. Polar form. We know that any complex number c equals a plus bi can be considered as a point open a and b close and uh, that any such point can be represented by polar coordinates open R and theta close with R greater than or equal to zero. In fact, A equals R times cosine theta, B equals R times sine theta, as in figure four. Therefore, we have Z equals A plus BI equals open R cosine theta close plus open R sine theta close I. Thus, we can write any complex number z in the form z equals r open cosine theta plus i sine theta close where r equals the absolute value of z equals the square root of a squared plus b squared and tangent theta equals b over a the angle theta is called the argument of z and we write theta equals the argument of z note that arg of z is not unique. Any two arguments of z differ by an integer multiple of 2 pi. Figure 4 um, horizontal axis with i m on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis is r e and there is a point A plus B I and an angle theta. That's in the sidebar figure four. Back to the text. Example four, write the following numbers in polar form. Um, part A is Z equals 1 plus i, part b is uh, w equals the square root of 3 minus i. Solution for part a, we have r equals the absolute value of z equals the square root of i squared, excuse me, equals the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared equals the square root of 2 and tangent theta equals 1. So we can take theta equals pi over 4 
Therefore, the polar form is z equals the square root of 2 times open cosine uh, pi over 4 plus i times sine times pi over 4 close. Part B, uh, here we have r equals the absolute value of w equals the square root of 3 plus 1 equals 2 and uh, tangent theta equals negative 1 over the square root of 3. Since w lies in the fourth quadrant, we take theta equals negative pi over 6 and w equals 2 open bracket cosine open negative pi over 6 close plus i sine open negative pi over 6 close close bracket. The numbers Z and W are shown in figure 5. See the sidebar, figure 5. Vertical axis, imaginary. Horizontal axis, real. Pi over 4 is an angle. and Negative pi over 6 is another angle. And we have graphs are pretty cool. All right. The polar form of complex numbers gives insight into multiplication and division. Let z sub 1 equal r sub 1 times open cosine theta sub 1 plus i sine theta sub 2. Close. And z sub 2 equals r sub 2 open cosine theta sub 2 plus i sine theta sub 2. Close be two complex numbers written in polar form. Then z sub i times z sub 2 equals r sub 1 times r sub 2 times open cosine theta sub 1 plus i sine theta sub 1 close open cosine theta sub 2 plus i sine theta sub 2 close equals r sub 1 times r sub 2 open bracket open uh, cosine theta sub 1 cosine theta sub 2 minus sine theta sub 1 sine theta sub 2 close plus i open sine theta sub 1 cosine theta sub 2 plus cosine theta sub 1 sine theta sub 2 close close bracket therefore using the addition formulas for cosine and sine we have equation 1 z sub 1 and z sub 2 equals r sub 1 r sub 2 open bracket cosine open theta sub 1 plus theta sub 2 close plus i sine open theta sub 1 plus theta sub 2 close close bracket this formula says that to multiply two complex numbers we multiply the moduli and add the arguments. See figure 6. A similar argument using the subtraction formulas for sine and cosine shows that to divide two complex numbers we divide the moduli and subtract the arguments. Sidebar C figure 6. We have imaginary on the vertical axis and real on a horizontal axis. We have angle theta sub 1, angle theta, theta sub 2, and angle theta sub 1 plus theta sub 2. Also points z1, z sub 1, z sub 2, and z sub 1 times z sub 2. Back to the text. Z sub 1 over Z sub 2 equals R sub 1 over R sub 2. Open bracket, cosine open, theta sub 1 minus theta sub 2, close plus I sine open, theta sub 1 minus theta sub 2, close, close bracket. Z sub 2 does not equal 0. In particular, taking Z sub 1 equal 1 and Z sub 2 equals Z open and therefore theta sub 1 equals 0 and theta sub 2 equals theta we have the following which is illustrated in figure 7 
if z equals r open cosine theta plus i sine theta close then 1 over z equals 1 over r open cosine theta minus i sine theta close c figure 7 imaginary on the vertical axis and horizontal and real on the horizontal axis we have angle theta with apparently radius r that ends at point z and we have angle negative theta with radius 1 over r and uh, ends at point 1 over z apparently I may have the description wrong.